Hi, I'm CK at CK Education, and today I want to talk about something that College Board did fairly recently. Uh, they got rid of the SAT subject test. Now, this is great news for you current juniors. I think that there has not been a luckier, more fortunate junior class uh, than juniors right now. Right now, meaning, what is it? It's March uh, 2021. If you're a junior right now, if you're going to be applying to colleges this fall, I think you are the luckiest class for, for a few reasons. Number one, SAT subject tests are gone. That opens up a lot. In the past, um, students who didn't want to take the SAT subject tests or who took them and didn't do well or who thought that they wouldn't do well on their subject tests, uh, that became a barrier for them applying to uh, more of the select, more select schools, selective schools, because a lot of the selective schools, um, you know, they, they require, for the most part, these private schools require SAT subject tests and two of them at that. So a lot of students didn't want to take them or were not confident that they were going to do well. Well, that's gone. So you can now apply to those schools without you know, having to submit SAT subject tests. The other thing that College Board recently did was get rid of the essays, the SAT essay, which I've been saying since 2016 when they switched over to this new essay format that it is the most ridiculous part of the SAT test because the scores that I've seen come out of those are so random. You know, really good writers get really low scores, very mediocre writers getting high scores. I mean, it's just, there's no consistency in this. And I think this is one of the reasons why Colleges really didn't take them seriously, and a lot of schools didn't require them. But I'm so glad to see they are gone. Okay, these essays are gone. The other thing is that um, for this, for the current uh, junior class, you guys are going to be applying to colleges this fall. Um, you know, you have a lot of schools that are still test optional, so you can use your SAT essays or SAT SAT test score. Sorry. Um, strategically. And if you did very well in the SATs, you can apply, you can use them and send them to schools in which uh, you are above average in score. Or if you're below average, maybe you don't, you don't, you know, you don't send them into those schools. And you, you can really use this uh, strategically. And this has not really been the case in past years. So I think your the current junior class is very, very fortunate. Um, I, I see among my students uh, that this junior class is applying to more schools uh, a, a higher number of schools than in recent years because um, they can, because the, some, a lot of these barriers have been um, eliminated. And so, um, you know, they're just applying to more schools, which I think is great. So um, this, is, this is a great year. Just make sure that you uh, factor in all these kinds of things and that when you apply to each school, you do it in a very individualized manner that you don't just do a broad brush, like I'm going to send scores to everywhere or nowhere or, um, you know, uh, consider each school separately and uh, make sure that you apply to that school with your SAT scores, or without your SAT scores or, you know, and, and so forth and, and make it so that uh, you come out, uh, you apply and, and you send the things in so that it comes out to your advantage. OK, this is this is the this is my point here. So um, you guys are again, you're a very lucky junior class. And uh, just, you know, take advantage of that because uh, for the following class, um, sophomores right now, they may not have the same opportunities. Probably in 2022, a lot of the colleges will go back to requiring uh, tests and, and some of the test optional schools, I think, will go back to, um, you know, requiring tests. So we'll see what happens. I'm CK at CK Education, and thanks for watching. And until my next video, I hope you stay well.